is a message from angry protesters who were picketing in front of the Minister of Transportation's office earlier today. They are residents from Markham, Stouffville, and some from Wilmont Creek, outraged at a new GO train schedule, which will now see more trains go through their neighborhood with loud horns early morning and late night. Now, I am standing in the backyard of one of the protesters. They invited me over just to get a better idea of how close they are from these tracks. I want to bring your attention to this over here. As you can see, they're just steps away. They say that a train passes by and blows a loud horn 136 times a day, five days a week, uh, anywhere from 5.30 in the morning up until as late as 11.30 p.m. Nobody gets a full eight hours of sleep, and this is cause for concern for some parents who have kids going back to school next week. We're being really disturbed. First train in the morning around 5.30, and the last train is blasting by at 11.15 at night. And now my kids are going back to school, to high school, and teenagers need a lot of sleep. It's really concerning because it's just, I know that I'm not going to get a lot of sleep just because of these train horns that keep blasting. And it's also a lot harder to concentrate on just like work and like trying to get stuff done for school. We have a lot of people who have various illnesses and they need good quality sleep if they're going to improve and they can't get it with the train whistle. We have decibel levels of about 78 that we're hearing inside our homes. The Minister of Transportation tells us in a statement, I know this is a big change for residents, which can be disruptive at times, and I can assure you that Metrolinx will do their best to mitigate disruption, adding that Metrolinx is leading a number of proactive noise mitigation initiatives. Right now, this is the new service, and although there are some uh, residents in Markham that are upset, a lot of residents are happy with the new service. So this is the new service that's in place, and now we have to work with the city to... Uh, to make sure that everyone's happy. Del Duca also said that he had sent a letter to the to Canada's transportation minister, Mark Garneau, requesting a meeting to discuss options for communities in Ontario that feel uh, that the horns are too loud and very disruptive. As for the protesters, they say they'll make their voices heard on Queen's Park in September.